Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my newest members, Abhijit Bhattacharya and Joseph Silver. I hope I didn't mispronounce your name. Forgive me if I did. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Members are giving shout outs in my videos. If you would like to become a member, you can click the join button at any time. Let's get started. So today we're going to be looking at a finite sum. We have k equals 1 to the 100 and we're adding the quantity k divided by k plus 1 factorial. Now sums that involve factorials are pretty interesting because you can manipulate them algebraically and algebraic manipulation is one of the funnest things in my opinion. Do not manipulate people but manipulate expressions. Okay now let's get started. So how do I handle this? Well to get an idea, sometimes we substitute certain values. For example, what happens if k is equal to 1? I get 1 over 2 factorial. Great. And then if I replace k with 2, I get 2 over 3 factorial. And then I get 3 over 4 factorial, dot, dot, dot. This is going to go on all the way up to 100 divided by 101 factorial. Obviously, 100 one factorial is a very, very large number. It's huge. And I don't think you want to evaluate this. And I don't think you want to make a common denominator, which would be obviously 101 factorial, maybe smaller, but you kind of have to think about the least common multiple of all these numbers. Anyways, that's going to be huge. So we're going to be using a different approach. Now, when we're solving problems for integer solutions or when we're manipulating rational expressions, a common strategy that we use is to manipulate the numerator so that we can separate this into pieces and make it a telescoping sum. What is a telescoping sum? A lot of terms are going to cancel out, leaving us with a few terms here and there. Let's go ahead and do that. And the trick involves manipulating the k. Since I have k plus 1 factorial at the bottom, I would like to add 1 and subtract 1. So write the k as k plus 1 minus 1, which is legitimate, right? And then, of course, divide it by k plus 1 factorial. Now, we're going to split it up into two fractions and hopefully make it a telescoping sum. So in that regard, I can write it as k plus 1 divided by k plus 1 factorial minus 1 divided by k plus 1 factorial. So far, you may not have seen the trick or what we're going to do next yet, but here's what it is. I have a k plus 1 and k plus 1 factorial. What is that supposed to mean? Well, k plus 1 divides k plus 1 factorial. In other words, they have a common factor because I can write k plus 1 factorial as k plus 1 times k factorial. And isn't that awesome? That's what's really awesome about factorials that you can really factor them and simplify them. So we can go ahead and simplify k plus 1. That leaves us with 1 over k factorial minus 1 over k plus 1 factorial. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this. Here's a cleaner version. This is what I have. And as you know, this is a telescoping sum. So I would like to evaluate this k equals 1 through 100. And you know that the sigma allows us to separate these two things, right? So if you have a sum, which is also a difference in this case, then you can separate them. And this makes it a little easier so you don't really have to deal with like what cancels out what, so on and so forth. I'm going to deal with two sums. The first sum is 1 over 1 factorial, which is 1, and then I'll get 1 over 2 factorial, 1 over 3 factorial, so on and so forth, all the way up to, uh-oh, don't do that as most. Okay, I mean notability, plus dot, 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 all the way up to 1 over 100 factorial. This is my first sum. And from this, I'm going to subtract the second sum, which is 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus so on and so forth, all the way up to 1 over 100 factorial. And then we have the last term as 1 over 101 factorial. I wrote two terms so that you can see what cancels out easily. Now here... Between 2, I mean 2 through 2, 2 through 100, everything is going to cancel out. And now we're going to end up with two simple terms. So our expression, which is k equals 1 through 100, k over 
k plus 1 quantity factorial can be written as 1 minus 1 over 101 factorial. Obviously, you can make a common denominator and write it as 101 factorial minus 1 divided by 101 factorial. And basically, you can write it like this. And this is going to be very close to 1 because 1 over 101 factorial is a very small number. So if you subtract it from 1, you're going to be very close to 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.